children how are you i hope you all are doing well and studying well so children so far we have learned so many different different clauses in grammar okay but there are certain things that we use on a day to day basis okay while we are talking about it okay it is the time okay when something has occurred okay that's what we are going to discuss in this chapter aur wo hota hai tense okay so in this chapter we are going to talk about the present and the past tense present matlab abhi aur past matlab jo pehle hua hai okay so we are talking about a thing that is going to happen now as we are talking in the present okay that's the time and then we are also going to talk about things that have happened in the past time all right so that's why we are going to talk about tenses all right so children the word tense refers to the form of a verb that indicates the time or completeness of the action expressed by the verb mainly there are three tenses present past and future each of these three tenses they have four kinds okay ye humne pehle wale classes bhi kiye the so this is just like a revision and these different types of tenses are simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous okay now similarly a verb also has three forms okay present me you have the first uh, verb one okay past verb two and past participle verb three okay now let's see what is the structure so we come to know about it let's look at the simple present tense first the structure says पॉजिटिव अगर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पॉजिटिव सेंटेंसेस तो उसमें आता है आपका सब्जेक्ट प्लस वर्ब वन जिसमें आएगा प्लस एस या ई एस प्लस रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट नेगेटिव सब्जेक्ट प्लस डज नॉट और डू नॉट प्लस वर्ब वन ओके प्लस रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट एंड इंटरोगेटिव में डू और डज प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस वर्ब वन प्लस रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट सो आप यहाँ पे देखोगे जब तक हम एग्जाम्पल्स नहीं देखेंगे तब तक हमें थोड़ा समझना मुश्किल हो जाता है राइट सो नाउ वी यूज द सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस टू टॉक अबाउट हैबिट्स एनी एक्शन डन रिपीटेडली यूनिवर्सल ट्रूथ एंड स्केड्यूल्ड प्रोग्राम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल माई ग्रैंड पा यूजली गोज फॉर अ मॉर्निंग वॉक तो यहाँ पे आप देखोगे नाउ दिस इज अ पॉजिटिव वन और राइट सो आप देखोगे यहाँ पे माय ग्रैंड ये क्या हो गए हैं ही इज द सब्जेक्ट ओके नाउ यूजली गोस सो गोस क्या है इट्स अ वर्ब ओके एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट इज फॉर अ मॉर्निंग वॉक सो देखा आपने वर्ब वन में आया है ई एस लगाया गो के बाद ई एस लगा दिया क्लियर नाउ द अर्थ रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड द सन सो एक्शन वर्ब क्या है यहाँ पे रिवॉल्व्स हमने एस लगा दिया ओके अर्थ क्या है सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट क्या है सन क्लियर और द रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट ओके सब्जेक्ट इज अर्थ एंड प्रेडिकेट इज अराउंड द सन आर स्कूल स्टार्ट एट एट थर्टी एवरी डे आई ऑलवेज गेट अप एट सिक्स इन द मॉर्निंग द शताब्दी एक्सप्रेस लीव्स फॉर डेली एट सेवन ए एम सो so, ये जो सारे हैं ये हैबिट्स है जैसे पाप ग्रैंड पा को सुबह सुबह जाने की मॉर्निंग वॉक पे जाने की आदत है हैबिट है ओके सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हैबिट्स और वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एनी एक्शन जो रिपीटेडली होती है या यूनिवर्सल फैक्ट होते हैं या फिर कोई प्रोग्राम हमारा स्केड्यूल्ड होता है जैसे वी आर गोइंग ओके टू वी आर लिविंग डेली बाई शताब्दी एक्सप्रेस तो ये प्रोग्राम हमारा ऑलरेडी फिक्स्ड है सो द शताब्दी एक्सप्रेस लीव्स फॉर डेली एट सेवन ए एम सो ये जो है ये ट्रेन का स्केड्यूल है वो हमेशा फिक्स्ड रहता है और राइट ना द प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस यहाँ पे आता है पॉजिटिव में सब्जेक्ट प्लस इज एम और आ प्लस वर्क प्लस आई एन जी प्लस रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट नेगेटिव में सब्जेक्ट प्लस इज और एम और आर प्लस नॉट प्लस वर्ब प्लस आई एन जी प्लस रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट एंड इंटरोगेटिव में इज एम आर प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस वर्ब प्लस आई एन जी प्लस रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट विद अ क्वेश्चन मार्क और राइट नाउ सो वी यूज द प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस टेंस टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग हैपनिंग एट द टाइम ऑफ स्पीकिंग टेम्पररी सिचुएशन अकरिंग इन द only in the present time 
and with expressions such as as now, right now, at the moment, today, this week or year etc. So, present continuous tense tab use hota hai, jaysay ki hum log baat kar rahe, usi time pe koi action ho rahe hai, to that's when we use present continuous tense. Clear? Children are playing cricket right now. So, we are talking about what the children are doing right now. So, abhi unka continuous action chal raha hai of playing cricket. I usually play cricket but uh, today I am playing football. Hrithik is performing at the concert this weekend. Priya and Shreya are going to school. Okay, now let's be smart. Complete these sentences using the simple present tense or the present continuous tense forms of the verb given in the bracket. So, first one. Look, the baby, sit on the table and dash play with your toy. So, we are saying, look, the baby is sitting on the table and is playing with your toy. So, this action is happening. Okay. My father, father often dash late hours which dash his health now. Okay. My father often works late hours, which is affecting his health now. Clear? Now, remaining sentences you have to do by yourself. You already have the hint. You already have the reference words. Okay? Use those and quickly finish the exercise. Now, second one. Rewrite these sentences in their negative and interrogative forms. One has been done for you. It is raining there now. So, negative will be it is not raining there now and interrogative will be is it raining there now okay the officials are pleased with your report so negative aega the officials are not pleased with your report and interrogative aega are the officials pleased with your report clear now the children are playing in the park the children are not playing in the park becomes the negative sentence and the uh, interrogative would be, are the children playing in the park? Clear? So, now quickly do the remaining ones. Now, third one. Complete these sentences using the simple present tense or the present continuous tense forms of the words given in the brackets. One has been done for you. Do you believe in ghosts? Okay. So, now this is a simple one. Simple and interrogative one. The wall painting should be a shade darker. Okay, what your friend and family, family think. Okay, the wall painting should be a shade darker. What do your friends and families think about it? Okay, how much is the cost to fly to Pune? Alright, clear? Now quickly do the remaining ones. Now let's look at the stative verbs. Some verbs, they express state, possession, opinion and senses. And thus, they are known as stative verbs. And they are not normally used in present continuous tense. Some of them are appear, believe, belong, consist of, cost, like, hear, remember, own, realize, mean, owe, matter, understand, forget, care, have, seen. So, these are all, you know, stative verbs. Now, for example, she appears to be sad. We will not say she is appearing to be sad. Clear? Now, there are very rare cases. Jaysay humne yaha pe bola na, what is the cost to fly to Pune? So, we are not using costing here. Okay, we are asking about the cost. Clear? Now, there are very rare cases when these verbs are used in continuous form depending on their contextual meaning. For example, you look very serious. What are you thinking about? So, this is a mental process. Ki dimaag mein kuch chal hai. What is it? What are you thinking about? Tum kaafi serious lag rahe ho. Agar hum future ke plan ki baat kare, so we say that we are thinking of going to Mumbai next week. Okay, clear? Now, the present perfect tense. Let's look at the present perfect tense. The positive structure would be Subject plus has or have plus verb 3 plus rest of the predicate. 
Negative would be subject plus has or have plus not plus verb three plus rest of the predicate. And interrogative would be has or have plus subject plus verb three plus rest of the predicate. Now, uses will be, we use the present perfect tense to talk about an event or incident that took place in the recent past and continues to have its effect on the present. Matlab, aise incident jo abhi recently hua hai aur iska effect abhi bhi chal raha hai. For example, I have forgotten my cell phone at home. I can't make a call now. Okay, kyunki maine ap, main apna phone ghar pe bhool gayi hu, I cannot make a call now. So, uska effect aa raha hai ki मैं फोन घर पे भूल गई हूँ तो उसका इफेक्ट आ रहा है कि मैं कॉल नहीं कर सकती हूँ क्लियर एन एक्शन दैट टुक प्लेस इन एन अनस्पेसिफाइड टाइम इन द पास्ट फॉर एग्जांपल द टीम हैज वन द मैच सो इट हैज इट इज एन एक्शन जो पहले हुई है पास्ट में बट वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो एनी स्पेसिफिक टाइम वेन दैट एक्शन हैज हैपन द चिल्ड्रन हैव गॉन टू स्कूल एन एक्शन दैट बिगैन इन द पास्ट एंड इज स्टिल कंटिन्यूइंग सो I have not eaten anything for एट hours. तो आठ घंटे हो गए अभी तक मैंने कुछ खाया नहीं है All right? Anubhav has not attended school since last Monday. Okay? मतलब अभी भी उसने स्कूल अटेंड नहीं किए Actions that have taken place very recently. For example, Ravina has just left for her office. I have just eaten two eggs for my breakfast. In this case, we use words like just Yet, always, recently, etc. Clear? Now, let's complete these sentences with just and the present perfect tense form of the verbs given in the boxes. One has been done for you. Why don't we have dinner in the new restaurant that has just opened? Okay? No, I will not have anything. I just had my lunch. Okay? Half ka had ho jayega. Clear? Aziz is very happy. His company has just given him a raise in his pay. Clear? So likewise, do the remaining ones. You have the help box. Get the appropriate word. See what suits the sentence. Don't forget to apply the rules. All right? Next, complete this conversation in the present perfect tense. Renu, have you traveled a lot, Naresh? Naresh, yes, I have been to four countries. Gaurav. Have you ever been to Bhutan? Naresh. No, I have never been to Bhutan. Okay. Munesh. Have you been to many places in India? Naresh. Yes, I have been to many countries. Okay. So, likewise, complete the remaining conversation. Okay. Now, let's look at the present perfect continuous tense. That means the action is presently happening continuously. Okay. Positive. Subject plus has or have plus been plus verb plus ing plus rest of the predicate. Negative subject plus has or have plus not been plus verb plus ing plus rest of the predicate. Interrogative will have has or have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus rest of the predicate. Now, let's look at the uses. We use the present perfect continuous tense to talk about an action that began in the past but is still continuing. Okay, the past my action shuru hui hai aur abhi bhi continuously ho rahi hai. For example, I have been living in this house since my childhood. That means I still continue to live there. Okay, an action that has recently stopped and yet has some effect on the present. So, action abhi ruk gai hai but phir bhi present pe uska impact ho raha hai. Okay, I have been studying really hard. So, effect, my grades have improved. Clear? Now, note, sometimes expressions are used with the present perfect continuous tense, but do not have a fixed place in a sentence. Some of these time expressions are for or since. Lately, how long, afternoon, morning, eve, uh, night, recently, etc. For example, they have been waiting for you since morning. I have been practicing my recitation for two hours now. You have been reading all night. How long has he been waiting at the bus stop? Clear? Now, 
Complete these sentences with the correct forms of the verbs given in the brackets. One has been done for you. Okay. I have been working on a book for the past six months. I have written about 40 pages so far. Okay. The singles live here. They have been living here since 1916. Okay, 1960. Clear? So, likewise, do the remaining sentences quickly. Okay. Now, correct the errors in the words in colors and rewrite the sentences. Ramesh is working in Kolkata since 1998. Ramesh has been work working in Kolkata since 1998. Okay. His Head is aching badly for two hours. He needs to be taken to the doctor. His head has been aching badly for two hours. He needs to be taken to the doctor. Clear? Aise hi rules apply karke. Quickly finish all the remaining sentences. Clear? Now, then simple past tense. We have finished with the present tense. Now, we are going to talk about the past tense. Okay? Positive, you have subject plus verb to. Plus rest of the predicate. A negative subject plus did not plus verb one plus rest of the predicate. An interrogative did plus subject plus verb one plus the rest of the predicate. Now uses. We use the simple past tense to talk about an action or an event that took place at a definite time in the past and is over at the time of speaking. Adverbs of time like yesterday. Last week, on Monday, in March, a few days ago, in 2020s, at 10.30, etc. are commonly used. For example, yesterday, we waited at the railway station for more than an hour. Okay, so what is uh, it? We are using past tense to talk about an action that has happened in the past. So, action has happened before and it is at a definite time. Pe. Okay, so that is when we use this adverbs of time, okay? An action which took place over a period of time in the past or which took place regularly and repeatedly but is now over. So, we us action ki baat kare jo ho, ho e jari thi and now it is over, now it is done, okay? So, during my early school years, I enjoyed drawing and painting. So, that means ki ab, okay? Now, I do not enjoy drawing and painting, okay? So, earlier when I used to be in school, I had a lot of fun. Now, Rachit and of, I often studied together when we were in class 7. So, we past ki baat kare. That means now we are not studying together. Okay, we do not study together now. We used to travel a lot till 2 years ago. Now, we do not travel. Clear? Now, let's talk about the past continuous tense. Positive. Structure mein aata hai subject plus was or were plus verb plus ing plus the rest of the predicate. Negative mein aata hai subject plus was or were plus not plus verb plus ing plus the rest of the predicate. An interrogative mein aata hai was or were plus subject plus verb plus ing plus the rest of the predicate. Clear? Now, let's look at the uses. We use the past continuous tense to talk about an action or situation that was going on at a definite time in the past. The action or situation had already started in the past but had not finished. Tulika was writing a letter last evening. So, the action complete hui nahi hai. You were looking for your book all morning. Repeated actions in the past. Okay, the second criteria I was walking to school every day till I got a bicycle. So, ye repeat that action thi, walking ki jab tak mujhe bicycle nahi mili. Clear? Now, note, we use the past continuous tense and the simple past tense forms together for two actions that were going on at the same time in the past. We use the past continuous tense for the longer action and the simple past tense for the shorter action. Okay, so here are two actions. So, in these two actions, which are one time, pe ho hai, okay, so here are the past continuous tense, wale jo hai, uske liye longer action. Hoti hai, okay, then when there is longer action, 
टू लंबे समय से चले तब हम यूज करते हैं पास्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस ओके और जो छोटी uh, एक्शन होती है वो सिंपल पास्ट टेंस यूज करते हैं लाइक रेनू स्लिप्ड वाइल शी वॉज रनिंग टू कैच हर पेट कैट सो रेनू स्लिप्ड ये हो गया आपका पास्ट टेंस सिंपल पास्ट टेंस एंड वाइल्ड शी वॉज रनिंग टू कैच हर पेट कैट ये क्या हुआ ये हो गया आपका पास्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस क्लियर नाउ कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस विद द सिंपल पास्ट और द पास्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब्स गिवन इन द ब्रैकेट्स माय सिस्टर बर्नट हर हैंड वाइल शी वॉज कुकिंग फूड क्लियर वेन द पोस्ट मैन केम I was sleeping. John was eating a burger when I was taking a photograph of him with his mouth full with it. All right. So this is how you will form these different different uh, types of uh, simple past tense and simple and the uh, past continuous tense forms of verb. All right. Now do the remaining ones. Next, the past perfect tense. Let's look at the past perfect tense. ओके सब्जेक्ट प्लस हैड प्लस वर्ब थ्री प्लस द रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट नेगेटिव आता है सब्जेक्ट प्लस हैड नॉट प्लस वर्ब थ्री प्लस द रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट एंड इंटरोगेटिव में आएगा हैड प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस वर्ब थ्री प्लस द रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट यूजेस वी यूज द पास परफेक्ट टेंस टू टॉक अबाउट वन एन एक्शन दैट हैज टेकन प्लेस बिफोर अनादर एक्शन टू प्लेस इन द पास्ट द ट्रेन हैड अराइव when we reached the station words like just and already to refer to actions which were completed before a specific time in the past for example anita had just left for school when her mother arrived words expressing indefinite time like always we had always known that you would become an actor okay now let's look at the past perfect continuous tense जब हम बोलते हैं पॉजिटिव में ओके okay? जैसे आपको पता है पास्ट परफेक्ट टेंस मतलब ये वी यूज इट टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग दैट हैज बीन लाइक हैपन ओके इन द पास्ट परफेक्टली ओके एन एक्शन दैट हैड टेकन प्लेस बिफोर अनदर एक्शन कोई और एक्शन होने के पहले ये एक्शन हो चुकी थी ओके okay? जैसे हम स्टेशन पे पहुंचने के पहले ही द ट्रेन हैड कम ओके द ट्रेन हैड अराइव द ट्रेन आ चुकी थी वर्ड्स लाइक जस्ट एंड ऑलरेडी ओके ये वर्ड्स यूज होते हैं टू एक्शन विच व कम्प्लीटेड बिफोर अ स्पेसिफाई अ स्पेसिफिक पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो अनिता हैड जस्ट लेफ्ट फॉर स्कूल वेन हर मदर अराइव क्लियर और थर्ड होता है हम लोग इसमें यूज करते हैं ऑलवेज ओके वी हैड ऑलवेज नोन दैट यू वुड बिकम एन एक्टर ओके We had always known that you are a a sharp child or a brilliant child. Okay, that's what people say, no? Okay, the past perfect continuous tense. Is me aata hai. Let's look at the structure. Subject plus had been plus verb plus ing plus the rest of the predicate. Negative me subject plus had not been plus verb plus ing plus the rest of the predicate. एंड इंटरोगेटिव में आता है हैड प्लस सब्जेक्ट प्लस बीन प्लस वर्ब प्लस आई एन जी प्लस द रेस्ट ऑफ द प्रेडिकेट क्लियर ना यूज देखते वी यूज द पास परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस टू टॉक अबाउट एन एक्शन विच हैड बीन गोइंग ऑन कंटिन्यूसली अप टू द टाइम इन द पास दैट वी आर आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैड बीन लिविंग इन मुंबई फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम बिफोर वी केम टू डेली सो so, दिल्ली आने के पहले हम रहते थे मुंबई में काफ़ी समय से यूजली वी यूज वैन टू इंट्रोड्यूस द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द एक्शन ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैड बीन स्लीपिंग इन पीस वैन समबडी डिस्टर्ब मी सो जनरली वैन वर्ड जो है वो यूज होता आता है इसमें नाउ कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेज विद पास्ट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस ऑफ फॉर्म्स ऑफ वर्ब्स गिवन इन द ब्रैकेट it became dark and then he realized okay he had been working on a comp- on computer for more than 10 hours we dash our clothes since the day we won the match okay we had been washing our clothes since the day we won the match all right so it dash for the last two days so we could not go out to 
play. It had been raining for the last two days, so we could not go out to play. Clear? So likewise, complete the remaining one. Okay, then our next one. Complete the following sentences in your own words using the past perfect continuous tense. Remember the structure and form these sentences accordingly, okay? When he left his last job, he had been working in the company for several years. Okay, I did the first one for you, okay? Now, remaining ones, you have to do it because you have to use them in your own words. Clear? So now quickly reread all the structures, all the rules, all the exceptions and start doing the exercises. Do not do it without revision because when you revise, it stays in your mind perfectly. Alright, so get going children.